Experience the ultimate online role-playing game. Final Fantasy XI. Introducing the world of Vanadil, where an alliance of three nations must wage war against invading monsters. Creating your character is an important decision. You can customize by selecting from many options, including race, gender, and build. You can even choose your job, be a warrior or black mage. With more experience, gain additional jobs such as knight or bard. On your adventures, you will meet players from around the world. Final Fantasy XI delivers the ultimate gaming experience in a world filled with incredible richness and beauty. Rediscover longtime hallmarks like chocobos, moogles, and airships that help you on your journey. Link Shell and Friend List are two of the many modes of communication. Enjoy the thrill of combat by forming a party of adventurers, each with their own specialties. Final Fantasy XI takes online gaming to a new level in ways you only dreamed of before. The fantasy continues, now and forever. Rated T for Teen. Hello, everyone! Oh, I'm peeking. Oopsie! Um, hello, it's me, Will Crosby, and you're here for Server Quest, which is the thing we're doing right now. Joining me on my Server Quest adventures is the one and only Ian Gibson. Ian, are you there? Hello, can I talk now? Yeah, you can talk now. Oh. Oh. I, it's just it's hard for people to tell who I am because they can't see me. Oh, would would you like for people to see you? No. Well, too bad. Look, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> In a very distinctive face-on camera position. Um. Yeah, you know what? I think it's fine. It's yeah. It's, I think it's fine too. Yeah, the other camera is much nicer, but it's actually harder to get set up. And some days you're just like, you know what? Too lazy. I would have been more upset if you had just gone back to the old position <laughs> and you're just facing <laughs> the other way. Anyways, uh, we're, as you can see, playing some Final Fantasy XI here today. Holy cow. Um, hi, Stream Mom. Yes, both of us at the same time pretty incredible pretty incredible um what? i still have this config menu open uh i'm gonna create a new character holy cow this game literally everything it's built around is not letting me download it um there's a super long intro to this stupid game and i will tell my story during that but oh my goodness ian i need to be one of these right Oh my god, what is that? Like a chocobo had a it's relations so with a gross. child? What incarnation <laughs> is happening here? That is one of the most oh. disgusting things I've ever seen. Oh, wait. Not even an exaggeration. Oh, look at this cat man. Okay, I have to be this little dude. Oh my goodness. There's no way I can. Hi, Caleb. Hi, stream mom. What's up, Hello, Caleb? Horror. Oh, they don't even let me properly see my character. It's oh, just man. like so many levels of disgusting, to be quite oh, frank. Oh man, this is so good. 
Oh, I'm going to be large. Okay, Just what should I be? the ugliest one. That's probably should, the closest to you, right? Should I be a warrior, a monk, white mage, black mage, red mage, or thief? I think because I'm tiny, red I should mage. be a thief. I, I don't understand. Like, a white mage is a good wizard. A black mage is, like, a bad wizard. I've never really understood what a red mage is. So let's do that. Red mage it is. Please enter your name. Little Kelzor. Press the plus key to randomly... I don't want to randomly generate a name. Okay, what world are we going to? Let's go... Do we go to Lakshmi? Quetzalcoatl? Yeah, let's go there. Lakshmi? Gold. Input a huge? password if you have received a gold world pass from a friend. Enter it. I didn't... I just left it blank. Okay, Name no, enters no, unavailable? Excuse me? Maybe it's only unavailable on that dare. world? Oh, it was only unavailable. There's a Kelzor on that world already. I want to meet. Oh my god, that seems uh, impossible. Um, select a country to start in. Ooh, Windhurst sounds cool. Ugh, it looks gross though. Let's go Bastok. Register Kelzor and begin play. Yes. Okay, folks. I'm gonna talk you through how many steps it took me to download this video game and play it first number one go to the website final fantasy 11.com i think is what it is xi then you're gonna have to download five separate zip files then you gotta put them all into one folder did you say five separate zip files i think it's five zip files and one uh executable you put them in their own folder you run the executable to unzip all the files into another folder okay. then you wait for everything to download and install like it downloads and installs everything then okay. you have to sign up for a square enix account we're on like step eight already square enix okay account. then you have to register for a play online trial which is a separate thing inside of square enix okay then i have to give them way too much information about myself including where i live like 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 i was signing up for a credit card amount of information like no no okay. social security but still an odd amount of then they email me a random plain text new play online email with password really yes plain text plain text that's bonkers. then i have to enter i so i have to open the play online app enter all that information into there which is built for like a ps2 that was ported to windows type in all of my information there then it creates a play online account. Then I struggle to log in for like 20 minutes because you have to enter your play online account. You have to enter your um, Square Enix account and you have to make passwords for both of them to log in. Oh my God. Then you Sounds run the game terrible. and wait an hour for it to patch. It was literally an hour for it to patch. Mm -hmm. Then you open the game and none of it is properly sized at all. It's awful. To which I then have to go into the folder inside my program's x86 folders and then mm -hmm. open the manually open the con configuration file and change it so it fits on the screen. <laughs> wow. Insane. And then that I got a pretty awful. Yeah, I made a test character today and I got a there's like 20 minutes of just these people talking. Mm -hmm. The best part is you can be like, you can just talk to them. I just said shut up. And they're just NPC characters. <laughs> just <laughs> but I can't, I can't tell if she's responding to me. I'm going to say it's not my first time. It's good graphics, though. So what's the history of this game? <sighs> Ian... Mm -hmm. uh, I wish you didn't ask me that question. 
because I got to bring up my notes now. Um, I mean, I'd I'd help you, but I'm I'm busy. So so I didn't do a ton of research in this game because I hate it. I hate Final Fantasy too. So that helps. Uh, what do I want to do? Fight monsters, go shopping, find. I want fight monsters. Um, I'm just trying to skip through all this stuff. I know it's all here. <laughs> I know we complain about how a lot of these games don't tutorialize you. This does it too much. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a delicate balance. I, yeah. I think we've been talking about Mountain Blade lately. That's a game that desperately needs some tutorial tutorialization. Yeah. Besides what it currently has. It's so good, though. Um, so this game came out in uh, May 16, 2002 for the PlayStation 2. Uh, you had to mm -hmm. drive that connected, and you had to have the network adapter in order to play this. Like, the game came on a 40 gigabyte hard drive that installed into your PlayStation. I'm Excuse me, I'm sorry. Yes, Could you say you? that last part again? Um, the game came on a 40 gigabyte hard drive that you had to install into your PlayStation. But you got a free hard drive with it. A free 40 gigabyte hard drive. Oh, look at wow. this little goober. Is there a slash dance? <gasps> but he doesn't dance. Oh. Um, so... This is the first MMORPG to be crossplay between a PC and a um, PS2. Mm -hmm. It is also, let me get through these quick, the first MMORPG that ever came out on the Xbox 360 when it released in 2006, April 18th, which is Karen's birthday. Um, What's the difference between when it first came out and when it came out on the Xbox 360? Four years. Oh, that's not that long in terms of MMOs. Now that I no, it's not it. too long. Um, Stream Mom says, out of all the Mesopotamian gods to use as a name, why Quetzalcoatl? Isn't Quetzalcoatl uh, Aztec? Aztec. Thank you. What's the Ooh, wait? Mayan. Mayan. Thank you. That's the word I was thinking of. Not Mesopotamian. Stream Mom, come on. Okay, uh, I got so I have this list over on my other screen of controls for this game because oh, ooh, oh, that's, ooh, that's never that's never, never a good sign. It's never a good sign. Um, although I think I could have just plugged in a 360 controller and used that. This kind of sounds probably, pretty good. Is it too late to do that? It might be. I, I wouldn't put it past this game to be like relaunch. I just want to see how to pull up the map, which I'm pretty sure they said. Uh, I What server did I log on? Leviathan? I think Leviathan. I'm assuming that's the server. Let's go talk to this. Oh, what's this? The glowy. Mystic Retriever. I want to do something with it. I'm on, the, I'm on a different server. Yeah, Ian's not playing because I said how long it, this took me to install, and he said, no, thank you. <laughs> I said, great, then I oh, don't have to Oh, Mesoamerican is what you meant. I see. Oh. Possession of a synergy crucible is required to use a synergy furnace. Well, excuse me. Excuse me. Um, that guy told me where to go. Oh, I gotta use these buttons to do that. That's rough. Okay, move the camera, start healing, switch between running and walking. Oh, I don't need to know that. Open the main menu is the dash key. Oh, that's... Hello. That's awful. This is definitely some Final Fantasy, like, music, though. Oh, totally. Oh, there's a map. So what's your, uh, what's your, your Final Fantasy history? I have played... Mm -hmm. None of them. Except the only Final Fantasy game, Ian, I have ever played. I wonder if you can guess. I don't care enough to guess. Final Fantasy XI <laughs> online. The only one I've ever played. And I'm playing it right now. 
Is that true though? I'm trying to remember. There was, um, it was Tetris. You said I've never played Tetris. I and said you... you've never played Tetris. No, you said I have never played Tetris, and I said you've never played Tetris, and you said, well, no, I played the DS version, and I played it on this and this and this, and I played this and I played this, but I've never played Tetris. So I'm curious, have you never played Final Fantasy? Uh, I'm pretty sure you're taking that conversation out of context, but that's okay. No, no. That was a genuine conversation where you said, I've never played Tetris. And I said, you've, you've never played Tetris. And you qualified it with, well, no, I've played Tetris. I've just never like sat down and played a Tetris game completely. <laughs> well, I think I meant I've never, like, I mean, I guess that's the best way to describe it. I've never sat down and played Tetris. But I've never owned a Tetris game and played Tetris. I've, like, happened to have played Tetris that it, when it's included in other video games. Like a Tetris puzzle yeah, or something. Yeah. But I've never and played this isn't Tetris. to make fun of you. Well, I mean, making fun of you is just a benefit. My point being, so you've legitimately never played a Final Fantasy. No, I own Final Fantasy 3 for the DS, but I don't believe I ever put it in. And if I okay. did, it was not memorable. Okay, gotcha. I just, I know that sounds like a bit. But I genuinely needed to clarify that because you've 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 done that bit before you, where you say you've never played a game, but you have. I've done it once, and it was te with Tetris. I'm so sorry that this world has um, I've become so untrustworthy in your eyes. Thank you, but I'm gonna have to. I'm I'm not sure if I'm ready to accept that apology yet. I'm gonna fight this worm. Dead. Magic. God, I hate this. Hey, um, quick question. Good question. Do you, do you know if there is a... Sh okay, so one of the things I hate about Photoshop... Yes. ...is that when you're in Photoshop mm -hmm. and you click on something to, like, drag it and it just it picks a layer other than the one you're directly clicking on... Yeah. Do you know if there's a way to get around that? Um, are you sampling all layers? How do you, well, what do you mean by sample? So like you, you can click on a, another layer that you're not currently selected and it'll do stuff with it, right? Yes, that's correct. So your problem and is your- I don't want that to happen. Oh, you want to only ever be on one layer? Um, In a way, yeah. Like when I, when I click to move stuff, I only want to select things on the layer I'm currently on. Yeah, so if you go, I think it's the top of Photoshop. I think it's a, uh -huh. it might be called sample all layers. I'll, um, I'll look it up from here. Yeah. I'll look it up from here. But, but that's what you want. Yeah, that's one of those not great stream content. Um, so what I'm doing is uh, I've been racing a lot in oh, iRacing, which supports custom paints. And Will had previously made me a paint, which I still race to this day, but it's only for the Mazda MX-5 Miata. Um, but I'm racing NASCAR this weekend, and so I decided to just make a stupid little uh, custom paint for NASCAR. Can you put fake... Uh, please tell me you're putting fake sponsors on there. Uh, it's too much effort, and then I, I started putting my face all over it, but then I realized it's weird that I'm putting my own face on it. Um, so now, right now, it's just a gray car with subpixel on the doors on the sides, and then on the back quarter panel side quarter panel is just this weird face that I'm making. And then I'm trying to decide what I want to put on the hood. Just put a big Gundam on the hood. Can you put on the back sponsored by Will's Beans? Thank sponsored you. by Will's Bean? Beans! Not my beam. I mean, you could write that too <sighs> that if you sound... wanted to. That doesn't sound like appropriate. Am I going to die? I think I might. Oh yeah, I'm totally gonna die. I'm running. I figured it out. You just you just have to hold down control while you're clicking and moving slash selecting. Stream Mom, I want you to tell me how the Final Fantasy VII remake is once you get it. I've been thinking about getting it. I really enjoyed the original, but I thought it was too old. I'm worried that this new one is too unlike the original because of all the updates to it. So I'm kind of torn as to whether I should get it or not. Yeah, um, I, I thought they were doing more of a RE2 remake, but they went full, not the same game. Yeah, I I knew they were doing that because I'm back. 
I don't think they explicit. I, I can't remember if they ever explicitly said it or if it was just like leaked out in a way through interviews and stuff where they basically said, hey, we're, this game is only going to be in Midgar. And as soon as they said that, and even with my limited experience playing the original game, I was like, oh, that's only like a third, maybe half of the original game. And I got out of Midgar five hours into the first game, into the original game. Yeah, when I heard that, I thought I was like, I was like, they are padding this with a whole bunch of stuff. So see what I thought when they said that, and I think a lot of people thought is that they're just doing it in chapters, but they're still doing the same original game. So it's like the first part comes out and it's only five hours. Not that they're padding it out to be 40 hours, hours. But I, but I think the other thing was they said that it's still going to be like a 30 hour game. So putting those together, that's when I was like, this ain't going to go well. Well, not that it's not going to go well, but they are making drastic changes. Yeah. I'm going to put Gundam on my car. I think I'm just nice. going to make this like a, a vision board. Ooh, vision boards are good. I'm, gonna no, talk I'm not going to put any Gundam. People. Oh, wait. Which, which Gundam? I think oh, I put Rick Dom. In it. Oh, have you seen Gun Cannon? He's this red guy and he has two giant cannon barrels on his shoulders. No, but that sounds awesome. I keep trying to do a jump. And there's no jump. Hi, my name's Will and I'm trying to jump. Huh. Hi. Was oh, that Cloud? Are thing? you Cloud, sir? Excuse me, are you Cloud? Are you Cloud? Oh, no, it's Mather, and it's not Cloud. I'm I sorry, my mistake. suggestions from the chat of what I should put on my car. Chat, please. Be, what should Ian put on his car? And the one thing is, I want it to be the type of car that's a looker. Like, when people look at it, they go, Dear God, what is that? They will never forget oh. it, and it stands out <gasps> in the crowd. Ian, you gotta put hentai on your car. Okay, images.google.com. Did I, did I, I know I put one screenshot on Twitter, but I kept like Google searching, like how to stream hentai games or like, where can you show hentai? And all those results are like censored. They just really? say zero results. It's weird. Real. I Googled something the other day and I got one result. Oh, I could do gachimuchi. And when something like that happens, you kind of feel special. Was it legitimate one result, or did you feel like it was censored in a way? I think it was a legitimate one result. Can't remember what I was looking up. Where'd that guy I started off talking to? This guy. What's this crystal? Hi, Probably... I'm Crystal. Home point one. You are now able to teleport here from any other home point. Travel to another home point. On second thought, none. Tree Mom's saying uh, they were all censored, the results, you're saying? Yeah, well, when I say censored, it's like, it's not really, I mean, I don't, I don't know if I would call it censored. It just feels like Google is like deliberately filtering out results. Like if I type in how to stream hentai online, which is what we were we were trying to figure out we bought we bought a bunch of hentai games we were trying to figure out how to stream it for subpixel long story short it's not going to happen it's just not possible but um i was like i typed into google how to stream hentai and google came back zero results which is that's not true that's definitely not true there's no way that's valid i've accepted a mission Ooh. I wish this was a lucid dream. Hi, Rook Racing. It was an interesting topic to come into. You mean to arrive into? I, you know, Stream Mom, I don't think I had Safe Search turned on, but I may have now that you bring it up. I should have just gone to Bing and searched. Folks, there. this stream brought to you by Polar Seltzer. Go out there and buy some. Just kidding. We're not sponsored. <laughs> Oh, oh man, Rook Racing. Oh. You know not hey. what you speak. Um, Speaking of uh, sponsors, um, 
Can I finish my no, thought you go ahead. before you just like bust in here like the Kool Aid man? No. Um, Rook Racing. Uh, this is the series Server Quest where we've been playing uh, MMOs since the very beginning, starting with Avalon, um, and we have just gotten to this point, and yeah, this is where we're at. May sixteenth, two thousand and what did I say, two thousand two. This came out in Japan. That's where we are on the timeline. Last week was... What did we play before this? Dark Age of Camelot. Just uninstalled that yeah. today. Because that was... Probably not going to play that again. Um, honestly, the only good ones that have come out of this so far... Meridian 59 was pretty fun. And... Uh, in like a goofy sort of way. And then Asheron's Call was pretty good too. We had a good time with that. But, uh, yeah, this is where we're at, Final Fantasy XI. Just, you know, yeah, I lost some steam on this one. I didn't even look up a ton about the game. I'm going to fight this tunnel worm, because I don't know what else to do, to be honest with you. Um, so my story, speaking of stream etiquette, I don't know if you saw, but their, uh, NASCAR has been running... I racing oh. <laughs> events every weekend and yep. uh during a practice session thankfully this was not broadcast on tv this was just one of their stream i believe it was oh. a practice session so it was only online stream one of the nascar drivers dropped the n-word and has been like kicked from his team all his sponsors dropped him so just remember no matter how bad our streams are at least we're not going to get banned from nascar it's true and how many times have we accidentally? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> ne we've never said that word. We no, have never, never said that word. Never in a million years. <laughs> never. Never. No way. Dear. Oof. I mean, never. I'm just kind of going through my subpixel folder now. Um, Rook Racing, just to bring you up to speed, Will's playing a game, and I'm making an eye racing paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what I really wish you had sent me the I race the Photoshop screen too, so I could put that up on the bottom. I mean, I could, but it doesn't look good. I mean, it'd still be interesting. It's probably uh, better than this. I'll, I'll show it to you. How about at the finale? I'll send it to you. Okay. I'm finding a river crab. So, do I have any abilities? I'm just kind of going through my my folders and looking at images that I have. And, uh, how do I have zero spells? Man, we should get a green screen. Did I just heal the grab? I might have done that. That's a good image. I'm gonna run away. Heck, oh, that's why. I don't like this grab anymore. Oh, I died again. Gosh darn it. Back to home point. Rook Racing, you had to leave your apartment due to the due to Corona, so you miss your sim rig. <gasps> I'm sorry. Oh, because you're quarantining elsewhere. Oh, I'm tired to hear that, buddy. That's a big shame though, because there's a lot of good coronavirus racing going on right now. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, I, I read that story about that NASCAR guy, and I was going to message you being like, hey, at least, <laughs> like, you're not that great at eye racing, but at least you're not this bad. <laughs> I was thinking about tweeting something similar like that. Oh, I can't. What is, uh, sorry, I know it didn't properly address that when you had said it, but what is wrong yeah. with people? Like, Okay, so just, just to, like, this is not in his defense, but just to say... From context, it sounded like he was talking and he didn't think anybody could hear him because he couldn't hear other people. Oh. Uh, and so he was like, hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. And then he and then he said, and then he said the N word. Oh, just like, what do you do? You know, a lot of, there are a lot of words you could say that aren't just that bad that you could have. Yeah. 
Um, oh, he disappeared. Yeah, I haven't been streaming my racing too much, uh, Rook. I've been streaming maybe once a week now, but um, I've been in two amateur leagues. One is F1 2019. We basically replicate the schedule, the original F1 2020 schedule. And the other one is iRacing. We've kind of been bouncing around. We did uh, street. Oh, actually, okay. You know what? I'm just, I keep talking about it, and I know you don't care, Will, but I'm in, we've done three iRacing races so far. Everybody yeah. else in this league is much faster than me. And there's probably 10 or 11 people in this league. But I'm in third place. I'm so proud of far. you. And it's because the first race was Mazda's on Lime Rock, and I kind of messed up and I finished eighth. The second race was Street Stocks, which is basically like an entry-level NASCAR on an oval. And I, I took second because there was like a yellow flag and there was a restart and there was like two laps left and I just passed people like crazy. Oh, it felt so good. And then this, the last race was uh, IndyCars, basically. IndyCars on Daytona, I think it was Daytona Road, which is basically half oval, half road. Very difficult car to master, but I came second because I went from seventh. I'm, I'm sorry, I came in third. I went from seventh to third with two laps left on a safety car. Like I just, I just, oh boy, I just grabbed it and I ripped it and I like passed all these people on the side. It was like perfect. It was incredible. So it's, it's, it's really weird. Like I'm still a relatively slow driver, but because I'm somewhat consistent and when things get tough, I can deliver like in safety car situations and in crashes where I can get around people more easily. It's mm -hmm. it's like I'm overperforming. It's bonkers. No, I'm very proud of you. I don't know what makes you think I don't want you talked about this. You're very good. It's just one of those things where oh. you start talking about it and you're like, I'm passionate about this, but I can tell nobody else is. So that's true. Yeah, okay. it, it's stupid what you do. Um, I'm just jealous. Man, I know Zach this... wants to get into it. <laughs> yeah. This game is... Like, I feel like they had all that exposition that I probably should have been paying attention to. But then... Like, now what do I do? I'm just running. Oh no, these guys are going to kill me. You have any active quests? I don't... I don't know where... I don't know where they're listed... I picked up a mission to do something. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Please don't die. Well, I made it so far. Oh, I think I'm okay. I'm just running. You know, I like running. It's I know fun. you do, Boo. I know you do. Running through this game. Uh, I've been playing, I know we briefly discussed this uh, on the last stream, maybe two streams ago. But I have started... Oh, I died. I have started Nier Automata. Uh, How are you feeling I, so far? I How are you feeling um, on that? Might be like five hours in. I'm really enjoying it. It's very fun. Combat's good. Wait, what? What? Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. What part are you at? Um, I am... Doing a bunch of random... I just did the Forest Kingdom. Oh, Castle yeah, so you made it. I, I got to, like, the first open area, and I finished that first open area in, like, the Derelict City, and then I was done. I was done. Oh, it's that great. That combat doesn't feel good. I just... The, the environment design... I'll say the environment design is good. The graphics, not good. Environment graphics. And the, and the environment... No, I'll say the environment aesthetic is good. The environment design is bad in terms of, like, the exploration of the environments and stuff. Like, there's just big empty open spaces and stuff i don't know yeah. i wanted to love that game but it just the ways in which it was not fully implemented irked me too much i don't know i'm not getting any of that it's super fun the story is really interesting um i don't know i'm very into it um the one thing i really don't like is like figuring out what to upgrade and like the weapons and the chips and stuff but the best part about that is they <laughs> let you automate it um, so you can literally just hit automate it or go ask a guy for advice. And he's like, you want me to set it like this? And I'll just say yes. And then they'll set it like that. So. Yeah, I did like the chip system. That was pretty cool. 
And then anything else like that's annoying with the game, you can go talk to a person and they're like, oh, I'll fix that for you. I'm like, okay, thanks. Um, but yeah, it's really fun. I I'm really enjoying it. Oh, I, I, I tell you what, Rook. I think both of us are very excited for uh, Final Fantasy XIV when we finally oh, get yes. there. I'm very excited. Um, I'm also excited for... There's a couple games I'm excited for. I'm excited to try Elder Scrolls Online because I've always wanted to. I'm not saying it's going to be good or anything. I just always wanted to play it. It's uh, it's it's like the it's like the dictionary definition of good. Yeah, you know what I mean. Just good. And then, uh, Star Wars Galaxies will be fun to take a dive into. Uh, Old Republic <laughs> I played for a little bit. Star Trek Online I used to play. <laughs> So, it'll be funny to see uh, all those games. And there's a bunch on the list that I have that I just never touched. Oh, Guild Wars 2 will be funny to see. I'm going to run on this bridge. Oh, Guild Wars 2. For some reason, I keep thinking that game is dead. But no, it's, it's still alive. Yeah. Like, it still exists. It's just crazy. Boom, boom, dum, dum. What are these keys? Is this a jail? I want to go check out this out. Oh. <laughs> oh, just trying to figure out what I'm going to put on the car, but I, I think I kind of have it. What about base color? I'm thinking pink to match the Miata you got for me. Yeah. Man, I I, I literally made that for you with the every intention of going back and fixing it up <laughs> and i've just never done that <laughs> it's such an ugly car well i think um <gasps> i may in turn over house. the race again sometime soon because i think part of this is the i racing series i'm doing now we're doing a new car every week we're a new free car but next season we're going to do one continuous car one or two continuous cars. So I'll let you do the, the paints for those. <gasps> Yay. Um, I think I'm stuck in a house with Moogle. This is your home, the Mog House. I'm a Moogle. We Moogles like taking care of the houses of houses and items. What? What? Open your main menu, Master. Oh, don't call me Master. Oh, you can call me Master, please. Press it, and the Mog House menu will appear. Everything you can do in your Mog House is there. I don't like this. What's wrong, baby boy? Daddy don't like you? Ugh, um, there's two cute things talking to each other. Hi, cutie. Tell okay, me about. I think how much? Oh, we're 36 minutes into the stream. Okay, no promises, but I think I may be able to, at the end of the stream, show you what this paint looks like on the car. But no guarantees. Oh, wow. I can garden. Layout. Clear all the furniture. Yes. How do I... How do I leave? How do I... How do I leave? Oh, okay, very important piece of the car. The back. The which back. is where everybody in the race is going to be looking. Because I think you I'll should... be... Getting lapped. That's right. Um. Okay, what am I putting on the back? I think I got room for text. You got to write something offensive but nice. Got it. Offensive, but nice. Googling that. Oh, it's just a no. It's just a lot of little tiny pictures. What if I just put the subpixel a little bit again? Yeah, you should probably do that. Oh, I'm teleporting. Oh, that's a crazy teleport noise. 
Subpixelfilms.com. That's a great idea. I think that's what I put on the back of the other one, but it didn't look that good. Gosh darn it. Wow, there's just so much. Home. I wonder if I had played a Final Fantasy game, if I would understand any of this better. Region info. Honestly, uh, probably not. So something that I don't know if you knew this, you probably do. I didn't know this until six or seven years ago when I asked somebody this. I said, the Final Fantasy games, are they sequels? And the answer is, for a vast majority of them, they're not. They're not even in the same world. They're just games of the same general RPG style. But the setting changes, the characters changes, the story changes, the world changes for pretty much all of them. Yeah, I I think I was in college. I think something came out when I was around a large grouping of nerds. And I had never played a Final Fantasy game, so I finally asked someone. I was like... Why does one of them have trains and one of them has balloons and the other ones are medieval? They're like, yeah, they have nothing to do with each other. They're just called Final Fantasy. And they're just different worlds. And I was like, it finally clicked. Why? I was like, oh. It, like, it, it almost was like Final Fantasy is the... Um, genre. Yeah, not the genre. I'm trying to think of what's something that a... Like, what's a general thing that a bunch of like uh i was gonna say it's like twilight zone anthology. like that yeah it's an anthology like twilight zone episodes don't have anything to do with each other but they all have the same themes and like stuff like that you so want my kinda... hot take this is my hot take i don't i don't genuinely believe this but it's kind of like it's kind of like so imagine okay it's kind of like okay you ready it's kind of like this i'm ready it... oh, <sighs> this is isn't that hot now that i think about it this isn't that hot of a take this is my lukewarm take it's almost kind of lazy in a way where you're like, hey, we need to make Final Fantasy was great. We need to make another Final Fantasy game. But how do we how do we expand on that and connect it to the original game? Well, what if we just don't? And then the other side of the coin is, hey, I have this fantastic idea for a new game. It's in a completely different setting. It has RPG elements, but it's like new story, new characters, new, completely different. And they're like, um, OK, but we don't trust that idea to call it something other than Final Fantasy. Does that yeah. kind of make sense? I don't know if that's a hot take or not. It's it's like, trust your creators and, and their new creations, and it feels like they're not really doing that with this. Yeah. What's up, Tan Creddy? You know, I don't think I'm going to put text on the back of the car. I think it's got to be a picture. Okay. Oh, dude, I did not need all this information. Oh, no, I think I know exactly what picture it is. Let's... This guy's is. name's Big Harvest. That's a good name. Hi, Big Harvest. So how's your uh, how's your stuff in uh, Mountain Blade going? So I'm starting to struggle with that game. And I think the struggle is that I, I'm not really sure what to do now because, okay, so I have an army size. The army is about 125. I've lost it a couple times, but I have so much money that I can just regain it and buy oh. a new army really easily. And it, it's, it's like, I don't know. I just, but at the same time, I'm not really sure what to do because I don't have my own kingdom. So now I'm just kind of like, Oh, we're at war with this guy, so I guess I'll just kind of mess with their troops for a while and then join an army and take a castle and then kind of mess with their troops for a while. And it's like this boring gameplay loop. And I am I bought a couple workshops, but they just get me money, but I don't really care about money anymore. It's I don't really know what to do. That's my problem. Yeah, I'm pretty much at the same point. I have so much money, and I don't, yeah. like, st I don't even know what to do. And then, exactly. yeah, I still won't spend it on anything. But yeah. So like I set up caravans and stuff. We've me and I've joined the battalions. Uh and we've wiped out the Northern Empire. So they're gone. How dare you. 
So, uh, now we're just working on stuff. I literally just went to the... I'd never been in, like, the south reaches. So, I went down there. I had to mm -hmm. do the longest escort mission of a caravan. I went around the I entire I thing. I, I just, it's the last time I've ever done I don't done do them. the escort missions anymore because they're I, bad. I've done four of them. They've always been the surrounding villages of a town. This one was literally the length of the map. I went around well, in I a just circle. Need, even even that it doesn't have the auto follow option. Yeah. I mean, early it's game they give you a lot of money. That was the main reason I was doing them. Oh yeah, yeah. Um That's true. But so now I, I went to the southern reaches. No one's really mad at me down there. They like me. So I finally found someone to marry because there's like nobody. So mm -hmm. I have I supposedly have a wife now. Like I talked I like charmed her a bunch with the persuasion rolls and then she's like you gotta go talk to my father so i went and talked to the father and he's staring at me and he just goes let's hold a ceremony and then it just clicks over <laughs> and i'm like wait is she my wife so the last time the last i left off i was heading back to go see where she was because i was like do i take her with me and like bring her to my castle and the yeah. the uh battalions keep awarding me the castles once they capture them so i have I have three castles and a bunch of villages, and it's really annoying because I have to ride around trying to defend them. And, like, I have some parties, but, yeah, it's just... Basically, at this point, I'm just trying to level up high enough to see all the skill tree stuff because a lot of that stuff's really cool, but I'm like, you have to do so much but work think, to I get there. It's broken as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, I haven't, I, as far as, well, I just haven't gotten to it, so I just don't know what any of it is. Yeah, that's fair. So, but honestly, like, they've been so transparent about everything, they're literally patching it pretty much every day. They just did a beta branch, mm -hmm. an alpha branch split. So I'm, like, I've gotten my, uh, mountain blade fix, so the more they add to it, the more I'll just come back and take a peek. But I'm... I think I played put 25 hours into this. So I'll like the next probably however long it takes them to get out of early access. I'll just check in every time there's a a somewhat big update. Big enough update that yeah. it gets on my radar. So, yeah, I hear you. That's good. I I really like I played so much of the original um it's a very good game. Very good series. It, it scratches an itch that not many games can do. There's just something about yeah, it. Medieval, that's... medieval combat feels so good. Yeah. And it's... And I'm... I love getting to the point in those games where you're like... Like every battle I start off by lining up my troops, putting the archers out front, and then moving them back, and then getting everyone oh, else to you charge. Oh, my... Um... I don't want to call it a hot tip, but something that I, I found that, that actually works really well. Yeah. If you just do F6, it it basically is like, you, it's like troops follow your own orders and they just oh. set their own orders. I use that for like, actually I, actually, I use it for all fights now because they're better than I am and I don't have to fiddle with the command system. Oh, I didn't know about that. Gonna and then the other about. one is if you hit, if you hit zero, it selects all your units. Zero, zero I knew from uh, previous Mountain Blade. But um, oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I didn't know about that F six. I'm gonna look into that now. But yeah, it's it's a very good uh, podcast game. Definitely makes my list. Um, I was actually thinking of making uh, a video of my top top five or top ten games to play while doing something else. Um, oh yeah, it's a good. It's a really good podcast game. Um, because I've been watching most of. Uh, Giant Bomb's Resident Evil 4 run through while playing Mountain Blade. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just... There's not there's nothing in the world like playing a video game and watching something else. It's very fun. Um, Zach's here. Wait, why are both of you on the screen? Uh, because we can, Zach. Because we can. And because if you we were can. here, because maybe you would be on screen too. No. He will never be on the screen. No, you'll never be on the We've screen. We've talked about this. Yeah, you you can't even get a webcam, so why would I let you be on screen? Anyways, folks, um, I'm dead. Man, is this a good place to call it? Are you almost done? Because I've been padding this out no. for way too long. 
No, no, no. You keep going. I think I need five, ten minutes, maybe. Five, I gotta ten figure minutes. Out how to import this. Ah, oh, but what if I played something else in those five or ten minutes? Oh, you know what? I think I think I'm I think I'm I'm close. I think I'm close. Daddy's close. Daddy, All big, right. big, close, close. You let me know. No, um, no. You you keep playing, but I'm saying it, it may not take five, ten minutes. Oh, good, folks. We're back here. I do like the graphics on this. This is probably the best looking one so far. A Dark Age of Camelot looked pretty good. But uh, actually, you should have seen this when I first loaded into it. Because it looked not good at all. And that was default. Yeah, and I'm I'm not I'm putting ninety percent of the blame, Stream Mom, on this game. Uh because I wasn't really paying attention to that beginning thing, but at least give me a waypoint to like what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, Zach said, mm -hmm. I prefer only one at a time, lessen the blow of ugly. You're up. That's ugly. rude. That's very rude. How about that? How about that? Oh, no. Ian, you know who's messaging yeah. me on Facebook right now about Animal Crossing? Is it, is it, is it Maggie? It is Maggie. Maggie? <laughs> she asked if I need a snapping turtle. <laughs> Did you ask Will if he needs a snapping turtle? <laughs> wow. You get into this game. Did you sell our turnips? <laughs> oh, okay. I'll sell mine later. Oh, man. My turnips have a potential of getting 600 bells per turnip this week. I'm very excited. Um, I, so I I was using one of those calculator websites, and then the one I was using just errored out for me, so now I'm using a different one. Yeah, it's kind of, was kind of yours weird. the plain I'm text one? The no, mine was the fancy graphics one, and it errored out. See, the plain text one errored out for me, and now I'm using a fancy graphics one. And yeah, I think I, I think I did the opposite. What did you sell today for? Oh, I didn't sell. Maggie, her friend had it for two forty. So, uh -oh. two forty no, or two seventy. I want that six hundred. Oh, Sundays, stream mom. Sundays, five a.m. to uh, twelve, twelve p.m. afternoon. How do I? Is when Daisy May shows up. I'm just running again. Can I look at the region map out here? Oh, I can. Where am I? Oh, no. Okay, give me a second. I'm, I'm trying here. I'm trying. Oh. Getting very close. Outpost. That, is that me? Is that me? Oh, weird. How how do you have to advance to a certain point to get Daisy May? I don't think so. Daisy May? Yeah. I I don't I don't think so because because I started late and she still showed up for me on my first Sunday, which was only like a day or two in. Okay, Although sometimes she's impossible to find. Oh, that's where I am over there. Degram Hills. Oh yeah, let's go see what's over. We're doing it, folks. I'm surviving. Okay, um, very close. I don't know what next week's server quest is. I have it written down somewhere. Can't remember what it was. Oh, Earth and Beyond, I think. That sounds right. I, I can look it up real quick. We're not sure is. what we're gonna do Thursday. Um, we've got some ideas. We're not crazy about the ideas, so we're gonna we're gonna think on it for a bit. But uh, yes. we'll be here on Thursday. Thursday. Earth and Beyond is next Tuesday. Earth and Beyond. Yep, I gotta I gotta look that one up because that is a another private server situation. Let's we'll see about seen getting anybody that. While you're running around in this game, I have seen zero people. 
Night stream, mom. Well, yeah, we're Night. gonna wrap up here soon. Very yeah, soon. You got stuff to do. Stuff. Um. Bye. And then Saturday night, uh, we're not 100% sure what the schedule is, but it is Karen's birthday, so we're going to have a birthday bash right here on the Subpixel channel, um, playing some games. So that should be fun. Um, I'm very much looking forward to it. And then, yeah, Thursday, yeah, we should chat about Thursday. I have some opinions. But man, Fiasco was fun on uh, very fun Saturday. Great stuff. It was fun, and at the end, it got a lot more fun to the point where I was like, "Man, next time we do this, it's gonna be real good." Like I was very much looking forward to continuing it. Yeah, we should talk about when we're gonna play it next. Yeah, we gotta we gotta schedule it's that. Fine. Schedule some more gunpla. Um. So that was a good stream. That was a good three-hour stream. Um, oh, yeah, with the fiasco stuff, I, I had mentioned this to you in chat. I was going to try to add some sound design to it, and I I loaded it in, but I lost, I think, what was I working? I was working on something else. Honestly, I don't think it's, I don't think it's worth it. No, no, no I'm not going to do the whole thing. I just want to do the first five minutes and just get a feel for it and see if it, like, came out pretty good. Yeah, but honestly, I think it's, I wouldn't, do it with that video though i think because when i was doing it with tabletop rgb it was pretty easy to do you just have like a whole bunch of audio tracks layered on top of each other yeah but it's going to be a nightmare doing it to that stream yeah i just want to see if it's something was salvageable salvageable um for fun but yeah i think next time we do it we should try to record our own stuff and then uh do it from there but yeah, this uh, okay. this was oh Ian's Ian's getting ready here. It's Final Fantasy Eleven coming to a close here, folks. We didn't do much. This game might be the lowest on the list so far. Ian has sent okay. me a message. Oh yeah, boy, I couldn't get it on the on the car because the the sim is a little weird when you don't have any controllers plugged in. Okay, I have to save image. I thought you were going to send me an OBS thingy, but I will just pop this onto the screen. No, because this way you can do it full screen. Image. Man, why is this running so slow? Here we go, folks. Here we go. Oh, this looks good. I up updated my OBS and it's running. It's chugging right now. I'm taking up all my a little CPUs. bonkers. Admittedly bonkers. Oh man, OBS is using a lot of my CPU right now. Here we go, folks. Ready? Boom. Look at that. Yeah, so let me let me talk you through it a little bit. So I've got uh myself with the Karen haircut on the front hood. I've got the promotion on the back with Will and I. I've got my baby face on the on the top. I've got Will and I in the hearts on the trunk lid and then just my face on the quarter panel this is this is good why did you give Pretty yourself ugly. the quote unquote karen haircut uh, i was just looking for pictures that i had in my sub pixel folders and the karen haircut was one of them because i believe i put it on you during an episode of scan lines pretty disturbing pretty funny i love it um i died again folks which can only mean one thing we're done with this game. You cannot use that command while you're unconscious. I don't care. Folks, this has been another Subpixel server quest. This one was a little lackluster because, let's face it, folks, this game sucked. There, I said it. And by proxy, that means all Final Fantasy games suck. So, until next time, Ian, where can people mm -hmm. find you on the internet? You can find me, find me, you can find me on Twitter, it 270 That's me. You're at Think Ibsen. Uh, Friday this week, we have a new documentary going up about the Halo Custom Edition going up on Friday. 
Also, Ian, what are those other videos coming out? Which other videos? The ones that feature us. Ugh, I don't know. It's going to be a while. Probably after your second Dwarf Fortress video. Okay, folks. So I won't even mention those. Yes, I'm working on my second Dwarf Fortress video. I'm going to work on that tomorrow. That should be a lot of fun. Um, also, uh, go check out Jake's Bionicle uh, analysis video. It came out on Monday. It's doing really well in the polls, folks. Lots of viewers. Um, but this has been another episode of Server Quest. Ian, thank you for joining me. I'm going to cut over to my full cam, so give me a little bit of a wave right here before I cut away from you. Yeah. Bye. Okay, and now I'm going to wave goodbye, and we're going to see all of you on Thursday. Who knows what we're doing? Maybe Zach will join us. Probably not, because he hates us.